Hi, my name is Larry Ahrens. I'm here at Vessel Health, uh, which is uh, run by Dr. Harvey White, who is the Executive Director and Medical Director of Vessel Health. And we're with Sean Frazier, one of the patients here at Vessel Health, back for his third time for uh, varicose vein treatment. Correct. Um, yes. And you're going to have a procedure here actually in just a few minutes. Yes, sir. Finish. Tell me about the first two and, and what happened. Well, I came to Dr. White uh, several months ago because I had been having some significant uh, varicose veins in my right leg with uh, some pain. And it started becoming very painful, especially when up and down stairs, heaviness in my leg. Uh, I've gone through two ablations, and uh, today I'm here for the phlebectomy where they actually removed the vein. And that's to make everything look better. Correct, right. yes. So uh, you, you just turned 40 years old. You're a firefighter. That's correct. So uh, and you want to keep that job for a while. Yes, <laughs> yes, I do. Physically, yeah. You know this this leg was bothering you, and you it really was. need to uh, get this procedure done. I, I did, and it, it, the difference really um, after the the very first uh, procedure was was almost noticeable immediately. Uh, yes, as far as the as the pain, I was pretty much pain free. Uh, that no more heaviness. I was able to stand and not feel it for long periods of time like I had before. Um, tell me about the recovery on something like this. When you had the first two done, how long did it take you to kind of get back going? It's really amazing. When, it, when I first talked to Dr. White, he, he said it literally would be at most two days. And I, I honestly didn't believe that. Um, yeah. The first day, they wrap your leg in a, in a compression bandage uh -huh. and, uh, and you're pretty much just keeping that elevated. But the second day I was walking around and then the third day the bandage was off and everything, it was like it hadn't happened. So it Fantastic. really is amazing. So I'll be back I'll be saving <laughs> buildings from fire. <laughs> that's, <soon>. Yeah, <laughs> that's correct. That's right. What made you finally decide to have this done? Was it the pain? Yeah, and after the initial consult with Dr. White, you know, he made it fairly clear that it was not going to just improve on its own. I mean, yeah. that, that something had to be done. It was going to restrict my mobility as I got older. So. We just made the decision to get it done. I'm glad I did. I'm Dr. Harvey White with Vessel Health. We're in Vessel Health's operative suite here today to perform ambulatory phlebectomy on one of our patients that we've attended to in two previous occasions. And you've met our patient earlier today, uh, interviewed by Larry Aaron. Previously, we, per we performed uh, two procedures, greater saphenous vein, radiofrequency ablation of both legs. Today, however, there are still more issues to attend to only done so by ambulatory or stab phlebectomy. And I'd like to show you on our patient the venous pattern that we were left with after our previous procedure. Our approach today will be to mark or outline this vein on the posterior and lateral aspect of the right leg, then move our patient to the exam table and perform phlebectomy as I will just uh, demonstrate. The first thing I do is I mark the vein as when we lie down it's not as apparent. And I do so with this pen which is indelible. We've completed the preparation of our patient and as you can see I'm assisted by John Jane, one of our technologists, and Desiree Montoya behind me. In approaching a patient for stab phlebectomy, again, we marked the vein in its entirety, areas where we might want to perform extraction of the vein. And in general, I like to begin more distal or starting near the knee in this instance and move more proximal or towards the hip. We begin with local anesthesia and we use lidocaine or xylocaine. And I'm gonna provide some injections over the little dots that I, that I uh, put in place previously and this is going to sting a bit. This is 1% lidocaine or novocaine and I try to do about five or six spots to begin with. With a small scalpel, 11 blade, I make a small nick in the skin as such. As you can see we've isolated the vein in at least two sites and uh, we have hemostats underneath the vein. My preference is to isolate multiple segments before we do so-called phlebectomy or remove the vein. Here are segments of vein. As you can see, four segments. Okay, we've performed a stab phlebectomy in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven sites. And this is the vein that we've extracted. 
You can see that uh, by my scale it measures between uh, 5 and 12 centimeters in length. Our next step is to clean the leg off and we close each of these incisions with uh, a special glue, Dermabond glue, that will simply seal up the location. We're going to apply a pressure dressing that I am going to wrap the leg in its entirety for uh, about a day and a half, two days. We'll remove the dressing thereafter. Okay, we're putting on a layer of Curlex, and as I approach the operative area, I'll apply a so-called ABD pad, which is a compression pad, over the sites of the phlebectomy. Sean, how was that procedure for you? It was, for the most part, pain-free. It's very good and short, shorter than I expected to. I demonstrated the identification of the vein in the standing position, making small marks over the vein, sites where incisions we made to extract elements of the venous material. Then we displayed the use of local lidocaine or novocaine anesthesia, the incisions that we make in various locations above the vein, and the extraction of the vein using, in this instance, hemostats to maximize the amount of vein material removed. We removed a very large amount of material in this individual, and so I decided in the long and short of it to wrap his leg for two days in a compression dressing. Our patient will return in two days, will remove the dressing, inspect, inspect the wounds, and give him further instructions.